My name is Colleen, and this is my kitchen. I've struggled with my weight my entire life. After trying every diet in the book without any success, I came to the realization that diets don't work. I started my journey in January 2010 at a size 26W, weighing just over 300 pounds. By July 2011, I had lost over 120 pounds and reached my goal of a size 12, no W. And I have kept the weight off ever since. What's my secret? Eating healthy and moving more. Now I'm here to show you how you can make food that is healthy and delicious and lose weight just like I have. Because if I can do it, you can too. Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight I have a really great easy meal for you. We're going to be making a chicken strawberry flatbread with mint pesto and goat cheese. It's absolutely delicious and it's super, super quick and easy to make. It takes about 15 minutes total. So a uh, great weeknight meal and great way to make use of those strawberries that are all over the stores and the farmer's markets right now uh, without um, adding any sugar or using them in a dessert. Kind of a unique twist on, on the dish. So first off, I want to go ahead and preheat my oven to 425 because I'm going to use that in just a bit. And then I'm going to get my chicken cooking. I have my pan heating over medium heat here and I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of olive oil. I'm using my grill pan, which you've seen me use before. It has these really great ridges on it. It's cast iron. It has these really great ridges on it, so it lets me get the grill flavor and the grill look without uh, barbecuing outside, because it's a little intimidating uh, trying to do these videos outside on my grill uh, in an urban neighborhood with my neighbors so close together. So now that I have my pan heated, what I'm going to do is go ahead and start cooking out my chicken. And I have one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Now you can use uh, you can use breasts. I'm using tenderloins. Uh, whatever you're using, you want to make sure just to use one pound. I'm going to cook these once I have them in here for about oh, three minutes on each side. They cook pretty quickly. Tenderloins, I should say, cook pretty quickly. If you're using chicken breast, uh, you want to make sure that it's done all the way through before you remove it from the heat. It'll take a little bit longer to cook. While that's cooking, we're going to get our pesto going. And uh, we're going to be making, like I said, a mint pesto, which is really a different take on, uh, on pesto. And I'm also leaving out the nuts and the cheese because we're going to be adding some goat cheese to the flatbread when we bake it. So it, first it consists of mint. I have here an ounce and a half of fresh mint leaves. These have all been removed from the stems. You don't want to use the mint stems because they can be very woody. And I'm just going to give these a coarse chop just to help my food processor. And you really do want to use a food processor for pesto because it just helps make it really, really fine. Just like that. Go ahead and add that to the bowl. Oh boy, that smells so good. And then I'm going to use equal parts basil leaves. So I have half uh, an ounce and a half of fresh basil leaves, stems also removed. So I'm just going to again give these a coarse chop, just like that. Add that right in. And it wouldn't be pesto without a little bit of garlic. So let's add. One clove of garlic. I am going to mince it in just to make sure that it gets nice and blended in to this mixture. And let's mix up a little bit of liquid to add to this. I have one lemon. I'm going to use the, use the juice of one lemon here. It's a little bit big for my juicer. And then to that, I'm going to add 
just one tablespoon of olive oil. I don't want to add too much fat to this. I'm already using cheese, so I'm just going to stay with one tablespoon. Let's turn that chicken over. of coarse sea salt. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and whisk this up really well. And then the food processor works best if you pulse it rather than running it continuous, continuously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pulse the, the mint and the basil and the garlic that are in there and slowly drizzle this liquid in. cutting board to let it cool. And then it's time to toast up my flatbread. I'm using a low-fat, low-calorie uh, flatbread. It's a multi-grain and it's 100 calories a slice, and so one slice is fairly big. These make great um, uh, wraps as well as flatbread like we're making now, or even if you wanted to make a pizza on it, that would be that would work well too. I'm gonna use four of these eventually, <laughs> but for now I'm gonna go ahead and put these two in the oven. I wanna cook them for five minutes just to get a nice toast on here. Remember, we have our oven preheated to 425. While that flatbread is toasting up in the oven, let's go ahead and prep the rest of our ingredients. I have here half a pound of ripe strawberries, and I'm just going to chop the tops off of these and then slice them. Just like that. Now that the strawberries are sliced up, Let's go ahead and just chop up the chicken. And I just want to do a rough chop on it because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use it right on top of that flatbread. Flatbread is toasted up. So now I want to just go ahead and flip it over. You can see it's no longer soft. It's got a nice crispiness to it. And I'm going to spread some of this pesto on here. This recipe serves four, makes four flatbreads. So you want to make sure to dole it out evenly. So I'm just going to spread it on here. It doesn't need to be spread in an even layer. Um, it's got a ton of flavor to it. So as long as you can get some in each bite, It'll be good. After we spread that mint pesto, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the chicken on each one. And then our strawberries.
And finally, I'm using a total of two ounces of goat cheese. I want to use half an ounce on each flatbread. So I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top and I'm using what are called goat cheese crumbles or crumbled goat cheese. You don't want to get the chev, which is very, very creamy. It's like a cream cheese. It's not going to crumble very well. You want to get something that will crumble, sprinkle right over the top. Okay, so once I've covered, once I've uh, put my toppings on, then I'm just going to do another bake on it for five minutes at the same temperature for 25. And here we go, our finished product, grilled chicken and strawberry flatbread with mint pesto and goat cheese. I hope you'll give this a try. I'm going to go sit down and enjoy my dinner. Give it a try, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time in my kitchen.